Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Neo. We're going to talk about how it had this amazing morning already. We're going to break it down, levels I'm watching, where I think it's going. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, and subscribe. Your support is truly appreciated. And I also do have a free Discord server. Link in the description below. If you want to join that, we have a completely free section for you. We're very active during market open, so hop in here come ask us some questions or just hang out so let's get right into the video let's talk about what neo did today where i think it's going and areas you need to look out for the rest of the day so guys let's talk about neo let's break down the story of what happened so on friday we finished the day strong we knew that neo was happening neo day was happening saturday we were expecting a lot of great things right so we know going into monday today that Neil was most likely either going to gap up and stay strong or it was going to gap up and just kind of like bleed off for the rest of the day. Well, what's it doing right now? We're basically doing the whole gap thing and bleeding off. So we gapped up. We got highs of $66, $67. So the hype was really around Neil this just in the beginning of the morning. But you know slowly that it started to just lose its momentum and started downtrending. So currently right now, Yes, we're still up a huge amount. We're up $4.72, so this is a huge amount either way. But at one time, we were hitting almost $67. So let's break it down to the one-hour time frame. Let's actually look what's happening. So we basically opened up. We opened up right around $63, $63.50. So we knew that on Friday that we were going to be bullish, basically. We gapped up, and we hit highs of 67 around $67, and then bam, we came instantly screaming down. Now, if you're watching Neo now, a lot of you are asking me, hey, where do you think Neo is going to sell off? When do you think Neo is going to sell off? Well, I'm going to draw out this level right here, and this level you need to look at. So we found a support right here. The reason this is support, we opened up here, and then for the last two hours, basically, we've just been hanging around this 63.43 area. So we know that we found some buyers here. We found a support level here. So if we're going to continue this momentum or continue this uptrend on Neo, we need to hold 63.43. Now, if we don't, if we're not able to hold this level, if we blow right through 63.43, whether that be today, tomorrow, whatever level it may be, most likely what's going to happen is we're probably coming back down to this 58 range. So guys, if you're in Neo and you're looking for an entry, if you want to, you know, should you lock in profits? I would have my stop loss like this right here. So let's say you got in and you, your average is way down here, right? Well, where would you stop out at? I'd have it really tight and I'd stop out right here at 62.86. So you should still be up. If you got in, you know, at the 50 range, 49 range, whatever range you got in, you should still be up on this regardless. And the question is, how much profit are you going to give back? So if you're just holding this thing, thinking Neo is going to go to $70 today, well, you might be disappointed today. There's no doubt that I don't think Neo will eventually get to $70, but it's just today, I don't think it has the juice left in it to do it. I mean, this morning, if it was going to happen, it was going to happen this morning. We saw that push up. We really tried to go for it, but we found sellers. And you got to think $70, that's at the top of the expected move. I talked about the expected move on my video. I think it was Saturday. The expected move today was $9, or sorry, for this week is $9. So for us to hit it all in one day, that's a stretch. So be careful, guys. I do think eventually Neo is going to hit $70. But the question is, is it going to do it today? I don't think so. Is it going to do it for the rest of the week? Who knows? All I know, guys, is that we need to hold the support level. If we don't hold the support level right here at 63.43, then we're most likely coming back down. Either we're going to test this from the top side and then find buyers that way. Or we'll head back down to a stronger support. But just know that the expected move is right here. It's right here at $57 and then right here at $70. So in case you didn't know what the expected move is, I went over it in that video. It's basically a range that market makers give a particular stock. For So for NEO, it was $9 this week. They give that range and they would like for the stock to stay in between that range for the week. Now it can hit the bottom of it. It can hit the top of it. It can go above. It can go below. But the market makers want it to stay in between this range, and there's a 68% chance it does stay in between this range. So keep that in mind when you're looking at NEO today. Now, what do I think is going to happen tomorrow? Do I think it's going to be a down day? Do I think it's going to still shoot up tomorrow? I think tomorrow we're going to see a pullback. Now, the question is, do we get a pullback down to $62 at this week, 
or do we get that deeper pullback back down to $58? That's the question, and that's something that you need to manage your positions for to account for. But either way, NEO has a lot of hype around it, has a lot of news. So I'm not bearish on NEO, but I do expect a pullback soon. And we can already see from today's high that we have been pulling back quite a lot. So guys, just be careful. Have those stop losses intact. I'm still overall bullish on NEO, but the important thing is we do need a pullback, and I do think it's going to come. Either way, lock in those positions, trim some of your position off, secure those profits that you already made. There's no reason for you to give back those profits. You made those profits. Don't give them back. Don't follow through the whole cycle where you watch it go down and then back up again, then back down. Secure those profits. Lock them in, guys. I'm still bullish on Neo, but we do need some type of pullback. Either way, I will see you all in the next